Right, uh, stripping the machine, as in getting the fuse unit out of the machine. So, make sure it's unplugged. Just double check by pressing the power button. Just discharge anything in the uh, fuse unit, um, or I should say the power supply anyway. So, take the set out. Spin it round. And take this off. This is a rear cover. Give it a, if I tell you what first, put the duplex unit out. On the back cover, give it a slight bend. You'll see here, it's pivoted on there and there. So give it a bend. There you go, off it pops. Don't overbend it, obviously. This needs to come off. It just sits there, like that. In the back. That's a fuse release levers to separate the fuse rollers. That part's down, doesn't it? That's the fuse unit in there. Now we need to take the covers off, both sides. Hold the front cover. And the actual side cases on both sides just pop off. So you're looking at um, just kind of, the, there's clips. There's clips all the way around, to be honest with you. I think possibly even the bottom. But if you just kind of just pick one side, you could use a flat blade screwdriver, use a uh, something of that calibre to kind of just take take the panel off, just set it off on one side. So I'm just going to pop it off with my fingers. Do the same at the front. It's there as well. If you need to, pop it off the edge of the desk. Just kind of lift it a little bit. There we go. Off it comes. Can be fiddly. Same on the other side. So no screws. Just pop it off with your fingers. It's what to come. As I say, it's caught in the cardboard. Protect my desk, to be honest. There we go. Right. Now at the back of the machine. Uh, there's the power supply I was talking about. So, at the back of the machine, there's a screw there, okay, a black screw, and this needs to come off actually. Let's put them out of the way a minute. Let's have a look around. Yeah, two screws there, and a screw there. Oh, and there's one hidden at the back. I think there. We'll take this off first. Two screws. This in, would like to come off, I would say. There we are. Put that out of the way. Now we can see more of the fuse unit. Just part of interest is the cables, I can see some cables are there, so they come through here, there's one there actually, it plugs into the power supply, so we'll just unclip that. To do that there is a, a little clip, so just pinch it, like this, alright. So please note it does plug into the power supply, make sure the machine is unplugged, discharge the power, uh, even though it's unplugged, it might have a little bit left in the capacitors. Just hold down the power button for a couple of seconds just to make sure that it discharges anything. Because it will try and switch on um, when you've discharged the power just to get anything out of the out of the power supply. So that connection there. And I think we'll go with that one. We'll take these two off here. Let's give them a wiggle. I'll have a look and see if they're the three cables in a second. Right. Cover mine in grease. Run the gears. So we'll take those screws off at the top. With that one there. Might be easy to shut it. Yep. So it's a standard Phillips screwdriver. This is a pH2. Couldn't even get it on. I don't know. Right, 
Right, one more screw at the bottom, just there, hiding away. Okay, so the feel. Yep, looks all good. See the cables? They feed through the hole in the frame. Let's give it a wiggle. Don't force it, just be gentle. Here we are. Nothing likes to be forced. Pop that underneath the main PCB. There we go. Right, that's the fuser unit. When you get a new one, you just put it in exactly the same way as you took it out, really, just in reverse. So, you've got to be careful when you pull one of these out because they run roughly about 180 degrees C uh, so they run very hot these two levers here separate the two rollers let's have a look see if we can get a closer look at them now that one is a bit wrinkled at the bottom but that's normal that's not a problem they, t they can tend to do that on some brands it's not a problem at all you can actually see the picker fingers there inside as well they're held on with a spring. I've seen them, not on this machine, but I've seen them on various different machines. They snap off, they get carbonised uh, and scratch the fuser roller. But generally speaking, is you find that uh, on this model, they're supposed to last, so I've been told, 100,000 pages. That's actually the drum unit. So, fuser at the back, drum unit in front of it. Okay, the toner sits inside the drum unit. I do have a video on how to take that out, but I'll just quickly show you. That's it there. So if I just move that out of the way, spin it round, grab it from the bottom-ish, have a look in now. Big hole through the machine. Not much to them really. Just to protect the drum from the light, I'll just put it back in. There we go. Right. Cables on the right hand side, through the side of the frame. Can see that. Let's zoom in a little bit. They pop through there. Look at that gap there. So before we go any further, do pop the cables through first. Through the hole. When you strip something down like this and you're having a go yourself. It is actually always worth taking images on your mobile, take pictures where the cables go, that type of thing. So when you put things back together, you have a better idea how things go back together. It's a bit stiff this part, so that way. Sometimes it goes in straight away, sometimes you just have to fiddle with it a little bit. There we go, straight in there. All the holes have lined up, so we'll pop the screws back in. Start with the two at the top. Don't over tighten them. Just end up rounding the, uh, the threads off, really. Hiding down there. Yeah, let's move that back out of the way. Just pop that in there like so. That's a fuse in the back in. And then the best thing I can say about this is is that that's a four pin, that's a three pin, that's a two pin. This connector's a two pin. 
and that one's a three pin. So no, that is not where it goes. And you know, you could put you quite easily put the three pin in the four pin slot, bend one of the pins a little bit. So just take note, you can you can see it's got three Ys on it, so stick it in the socket. It's got three pins on it. There we are. And the one with two, just pop that in there like that. And then this one goes into the power supply. Just pop it round there. Feed it back the way it should go. There we are. And that's it. Back together. We just put the panels back on again. Oh, no, this first. You can see it's got a gear on it, give you a clue which way around it goes, plus the writing's upside down right now, so it's that way. Pop that back on there. Open them. That's it. Whoa, in fact. This is screwed at the bottom, haven't I? I've got that black one. That's that guy back on there. So you've got that screw at the bottom. That's the best way. Yep. Okay, let's go with the covers. This is the fun part. So either go on straight away, or you can be fiddle around with them for ages. Okay. Let's right, open the cover. Just double check that actually feed that back. I caught that. So you, you can actually see the clips there, you see the clips at the top, so fan, the bottom for the handle gives you a clue which way around it goes, and you've got like some, a clip there as well, one there, and a couple at the bottom, one at the top, or two at the top. for a small machine and the way of getting the covers back on after saying that I probably struggle with this one network cable network socket at the back USB at the back so just be careful make sure they line up uh, you've got your door cover switch there it's got a hole through it here and if you can see it, yeah, we've got a little peg sticking out there. So it goes through that hole here and hits that door cover. Right. Then it's best to put this on next. Now it's got a little lug on it right there. The other side is just a, a peg as such. So just rest it on there like that. Whoop, do that one first actually. Just rest it on. There we are. Get the rear cover. Bend it. So pop one end in and just give it a slight bend. Don't overdo it. There we go. And then there we are. Finally. Paper cassette. 